Hi, and welcome to Unraveled on Sandy's Numerology. The story is going to actually show you what a five actually means. And a five is powerful, but they are not the people that like to spend. So they have a tendency to cut corners. And now look at a happier part of the sinking of the Titanic. And that are some of the survivors. The youngest passenger was Eliza Gladys Milvina Dean. She was two months old. And that's just so interesting because she's born on the second of the second, which adds to a four. And she had an eight life path. And she sat underneath the letter E in her first name. And all I can say is the only reason why she survived because numerically she actually shouldn't have is because she was so young and women and children were the first people to be put onto any of the lifeboats. The second Titanic survivor I'm looking at is Barbara Joyce West. She was born on the 24th of May. So she's got the fours and the fives, double hidden elevens and She's a five life path. She was in her life path. She had just turned one. So again, she was a child that was put onto one of the lifeboats with her mother. This is a very interesting survivor. I have to take my hat off to this woman. Her name is Violet Constant Jessup. She's born on the second of the 10th. So she's got threes and she's got a life path nine. She was 25, and under her name, there's a pattern of six, sixes, threes, nines, a five, and a four. First of all, she boarded the RMS Titanic as a stewardess on the 10th of April. But what is interesting about Violet is she's not only a survivor of the Titanic, she's also a survivor of HMHS Britannica that went down in 1916. And she again is a survivor of RMS Olympic, which collided with a British warship on the 20th of the 9th, 1911. Something's telling me that her angels were definitely looking after her and that she never gave up on getting onto another ship or a liner. Another survivor, Lucy Noel Martha Dyer Edwards, known as Lucy Dyer Edwards, Born on the 25th of the 12th, gives her the 25th, there's the five there, but it gives her a seven. She's got double hidden ones and she's a seven life path. And she was 33 years old. And underneath her age of 33, seven, four, elevens and sevens, which will also show a pattern between the survivors and even some of the passengers that passed away. The interesting survivor that I have here is Thomas Henry Ismay, who was the founder of White Star Line. He's born on the 12th of the 12th, 1862. He's got double hit and sixes. He has a five life path. But what is interesting about him is that he became known as the coward of the Titanic because he got onto a lifeboat and he was questioned and investigated. And first of all, he's a five life path, so he's never going to tell the truth anyway. And you wouldn't know if he was telling the truth or not because he can lie with a straight face. Under his age of 49, so it's really interesting, by the end of that year, he would have been part of the investigation and he would have then been 50. And there would have been this huge discovery and disclosure but he was able to wheel himself out of being selfish or self-serving. So the most important thing is the two numbers that really stand out the most on one hand with the companies as the fours and fives. And a lot of the numbers that stand out to deal with some of the people, um, survivors or people that died on the Titanic, there's a lot of sevens and elevens um, around them.
Thank you for watching Unraveled on Sandy's Numerology.